in an industry that is the result of the conversions of knowledge to identify just one of those knowledge is difficult. But let me say, following this, that the speed of the conversion of the technology perhaps was the most disruptive. And you can see it in the relationship between biotechnology with artificial intelligence. It's perhaps the most disruptive new frontier of the knowledge, addressing that the goal is to understand the human behavior, your mind. When you relate biotechnology to AI, you are also getting the ability to hack the human mind, to create an algorithm that understands me better than I, I understand myself, and therefore it can manipulate me. We are far from this, but we have to put focus in the same sense in one thing that is key and is closest to us, is to protect privacy and confidentiality of data. data with computing power, with biotechnology, is the combination that create to understand better the human mind. Perhaps AI is the more powerful weapon of the 21st century. There is a growing concern in the responsible to build algorithms. The center of human compatible AI is making the case for clinical trials, like testing, for example, exactly in the same way that is using when you produce uh, pharmaceutical products for human purposes, in how to build and how to develop algorithms to avoid this kind of uh, problems. It's a huge problem and it's a global problem. How you can regulate it, it and you know, when you have very deep problems, you have to understand clearly which are the foundations that you need to keep. And one foundation that you need to keep is a human-driven technology. And to understand that, I prefer to speak about augmented intelligence it means that AI is a complement to improve your intelligence much more than replace it. Um, ethical issues are a huge, huge issue that we will need to address again. And ethical is the foundation of our civilization. It's better to make it happen early than later. Uh, we need to rethink about the roles of the institutions. But we need to address that it's a big issue that need a global solution, a global comprehension of these kind of things. Perhaps it's not just one institution. It's the combination between new leaderships in multilateral institutions, governments, NGOs. The NGO role is very, very important. And the business community is also very important to combine all together. Uh, we address internally in our company, in G8, and let me say that we, we pride ourselves, we are working in artificial intelligence for a very important client in, in cancer, research and we address ourselves in respect our ethic code and it means that there are certain limits that we couldn't we couldn't trespass never so it's like the uh, los diez mandamientos it's like a religion you know there are basic things that you need to address don't kill don't stall basic things that we need to put 
again, to the comprehension of all the people. They are not very difficult, but you must keep the trace to, to follow this kind of principles.